Okay, um, here we are. We're just doing a quick little video just to show uh, how Student Response Network works. Um, but in particular, I just want to uh, show how the uh, brand new iPod client is going to work uh, with the software. So this is uh, Student Response Network. This is the server version, or the, what the teacher uses. They project that up onto a screen. Over here you can see a list of active clients, and there's nobody in that list. Uh, We've started the server and it's sitting on this particular IP address, so the workstations need to connect to that. Let's just imagine that this is a client, this is the student workstation, and that uh, could be a netbook, could be a, a laptop, could be a desktop, connected on the same network, either wired or wirelessly, uh, as, the, uh, as the server. So in here I've got a name and I can just change that to be... Billy, for example, and if I click connect here, what you'll see is this is now shrunk down. It says client connected is Billy, so that's what the student would see on their netbook. But over here, we can see that there is one active client. Okay, let's now bring in the iPod, or the iPod, let's speak proper English. This is uh, my iPod, and uh, what I can do here is, uh, there's an icon here that says SRN client, I haven't put the picture on yet. But SRN client looks a bit like this for the um, iPod. There's a button here that says Connection Settings, tap on that. And it's remembered my settings from the last time I tested this, so I've got the same address. I've got a name of Apple iPod Touch, just so you know who we are. And if I tap this Connect button, it now changes to Disconnect, but more importantly, up the top here, I can now see that iPod Touch has been added to the Active Clients list. And there are now two clients showing here. Okay, so what can I do with this now? Uh, some interesting stuff. Let's just shrink this down. And if I was a student, I wanted to raise my hand in the class, I could do this by tapping over here on this window. Uh, I could do this by tapping the little hand, and a dingly sound plays, and over here there's a hand raised by Billy. Well, I could do exactly the same thing with my iPod Touch by get changing to the hand window and tapping the hand. Okay, an Apple iPod Touch has now got a hand showing. So, it's just a matter of tapping that and up there it plays. Okay, teacher might want to enable a yes, no question. So enable yes or no, we're expecting two responses to be yes or no. Let's say the student here says yes, so Billy's answered over here, we need to change to the yes, no window, and I'll say yes as well. Both people have answered here, the results are as follows. Both people have said yes, click the correct letter, and we'll find that both iPod Touch and Billy have received one point. Okay, let's enable a multiple choice question. So over here, Billy says B, and if I change this to multiple choice, I'll say C. The results are in. Let's see the results. C was correct, and Apple iPod Touch is now on two points. From there, the last feature I want to show you is free text. So free text allows me to type in free text. So I could say things like... Um, I think we need to do this more in class and send it. Let's fix that typo there. Send that. And what it says here is one response has come in. They're currently not showing because I've not said show the responses. Uh, so one response has come in. We can assume that's from Billy because iPod Touch hasn't done anything. So let's get iPod Touch to do the same thing. We'll go to free text, tap in the window, keyboard comes up, and iPod Touch says, I agree with Bolly. Let's make that Billy. Done. Send. So now we've got two responses up here. Let's see what they were. Show the responses. So we now see, I think we need to do this more in class. I agree with Billy. Who said these things? We can turn anonymous off so we can see these answers here. We can now turn on multi-response. Multi-response is not on at the moment. So if I come in and uh, try and type another answer, so say I'll go in here and type in another answer and send it and say OK, this has ignored it. But if I turn multi-response on and do the same thing again, my typing is getting much better, as you can see. And done. And send it. This has now come through as Apple iPod Touch, and that's the answer.
So that's the um, Apple iPod Touch client that is for Student Response Network. Hope you enjoyed it.